I grew up watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and all this kind of thing. And in recent years, watching it again with kind of new eyes, uh, I've realised there's a lot we can learn for it as learn from it as engineers. Um, for those that don't know, the story kind of revolves around our hero Goku, uh, follows him through his whole life as he tries to become the best fighter in the world, basically martial artist, this kind of thing. Uh, this is our hero here. This is Goku, and even from a very young age, you could see that he knew the power of the cloud. Right? He knew that getting on the cloud at an early age, he could get to higher places, he could get there faster, he could save energy. Right? Before this, he had a stick. He had a stick that extended. It worked. It got him where he needed to be, but it wasn't great. But the cloud's not for everyone. You can't just take your old mainframe application, throw it in the air, and hope that it works. Sometimes you need to get there on a turtle. Um, so, just because the cloud works for, for one situation doesn't mean it will work everywhere. In the Dragon Ball world, they are also very keen on containerization, or capsulization as they call it. So, they have these capsules, you throw them, pop, this amazing thing comes out. It's a car, it's a house, it's food, it's whatever. We do this today with our Docker containers and all this kind of thing. Similarly, ephemeral resources. So, when you know that you're not going to succeed with just one thing, throw loads of them at it. Keep sending all these. Yeah, they may all fail, but you'll at least chip away at things, right? Use these ephemeral resources. Something that's really drilled home through the whole series, through the whole franchise, is training, right? We should be training constantly to get better at what we do. That's why you are all here today. You are all here to learn, to train, to get better. We put ourselves under stress. We learn the new, most difficult techniques that we can, whether that's terraform or whatever new YAML-based situation we've got to deal with, but we do it so that we are better. Having somebody there that can push you, that can make you better, whether that's somebody you work with, whether that's somebody you look up to in the community or whatever, that person can help you achieve to be the best you can be, to help save the universe, and in turn, you can help them. Um, having a large, diverse, varied team around you also means that we can make the best use of everybody's skills. So having all these different opinions, different uh, skill sets really helps. And then it comes to pair programming. So teaming up, working together on something, if done well, you can become the best version of yourself. If done wrong, yeah, it could go badly. All you got to do is keep trying until you succeed and end up on the right. It's also important that we don't need to have perfection from day one. We ship early, we ship our minimum viable product, and then we iterate on that. So we start off with our first form, we get some feedback, we find out, okay, maybe we need to do better, and then we iterate until we reach our final golden form. And once we've got that, you know, we're winning. Uh, admittedly, this in the series, he didn't come till after he died. So, you know, you got, you got time. Um, monitoring. So, making sure that we understand what our applications are doing, what our systems are doing, is the only way that we're going to have any insight into how we're doing and how our things are doing. Um, but one of the things we need to be wary of is we don't go overboard with the amount of things that we are monitoring on. If we just capture everything, store everything in this massive seven terabyte S3 bucket, it's not much use to us. We're just overloaded with it. So we need to be more precise as to what we're, we're looking for. And failure isn't always the end. So even if you mess up, even if you go wrong at some point, it's usually fine, right? You can usually come back from it, you, you get resurrected from the dead, and you can continue on and try again. Um, on a similar vein, um, Say no to imposter syndrome. Let's, let's, let's get rid of imposter syndrome. We're all amazing here. Like We all have greatness within us. We just have to kind of push that voice aside and achieve what we are capable of. And even if we do put out something terrible, um, it's not the end. Like There are things that can come after it. It's not the, the final uh, footnote. There are series that comes after these abominations. And also make sure we look after ourselves. Food. Drink, sleep. We saw this morning how important sleep is. You would never catch Lord Beerus uh, doing on-call because he would not be disturbed from his sleep. He knows how important it is. So I encourage you all to be more like the Dragon Ball Warriors, to be more like heroes, and um, yeah, to take some lessons of being engineers. Thank you.